I wasn't initially going to make this video about Showdown because I thought it would be really easy and I don't want to have any issues with it. The first inning showdown was the hardest thing I've ever done in any, any MLB The Show game offline ever. It's not even close. So I feel like I was forced to make a video on this, just giving you guys little tips to help you guys beat it. Real quick before we jump to this video, guys, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash rydog54. If you ever wanna to talk to me in a live chat, follow me on there and check me out. I am gonna be putting in a lot of hours on this game here in the coming future, and I stream a good amount every single week, so check me out on there. Also, please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Okay, so we're gonna be pausing and starting the video at certain points, because I don't want the video to be too long, and I want to make sure I explain everything you guys need to do. There are a few things you can do to really help out your chances of winning in Showdown. And I'm a, I, I believe I know most of them now because I played it literally for eight hours. Let's jump into it. The first thing you're going to do, guys, you're going to you're going to start it. You're going to start your draft. So when it comes to the draft, you guys, for the first inning programs or Showdown, it's very offensive heavy. Definitely only draft heavy hitters. You don't need to really draft too many pitchers, maybe like a, maybe like a couple relievers like maybe like two relievers and like one or two starters because there is like two pitching missions but you really only like the hard ones are the offensive ones so just draft really heavy hitters i went and todd helton just because it's a lefty another thing you're going to be facing walker bueller you're going to be facing roy oswalt most of them are righties there's only a couple missions there's like maybe like you face Alex Wood and Kershaw, I think are the only two lefties that you would run into every once in a while. So draft a lot of lefty hitters. That's my biggest tip because the righty lefty matchup is way easier. But then again, don't stack it all lefties. Just if you have the opportunity to choose a lefty over a righty, do that if they are good hitters. So you're going to draft your squad right here. I had, so I, I got Marcelo Zuna and Todd Helton. So, I, and I wasn't really crazy about Goldschmidt or Castellanos because I've used them in past runs. So I said, hey, we're going to get that one reliever in Andrew Miller. Drop Peterson. And then we're just going to take Wilson Ramos. Good good hitting catcher. But again, guys, just offensive players. I cannot stress it enough. Offense, offense, offense will help you win this game. My biggest tips on perks, guys, draft perks for offense and draft perks for your style. If you're an aggressive hitter, if you swing the first two pitches, try to get those perks that give you boosts in the early counts if you like taking pitches maybe take some perks that help you in deeper counts like the full count perks i know there's a few of those but really draft perks to your liking and how it fits your hitting style directly all right once you have your draft completed make sure you add the perks if you don't equip your perks and they won't take any effect on your game so add perks and set your lineup top load your lineup put your best hitters at the top of the lineup because there are a couple missions that you have to do in the first inning you only have three outs to complete the mission so top load your lineup as best as possible if you get deeper into it, your lineup's gonna be good anyways but top load that lineup as we guys go through this gameplay i'm gonna show you guys the rewards for each one and kind of talk you guys through it to help you guys understand what showdown is so this is the first one we succeeded we go out and the rewards, you either get players, runs, or perks every time you beat one. So for this example, we get one showdown run. When I say we get one showdown run, so the final showdown, you guys will see at the end of this video, you have to make up this deficit in the bottom of the screen right here. So right now, if we started, it would be 1 to 15. If we skip to the final showdown, which you can do, it would be 1 to 15. You'd have 15 outs to win the game. So each one you win, you get a run or two. And they kind of just add up. And I don't think you want to skip too much because the final one is tough. We get a silver perk this time. And it goes all the way up to diamond. You'll get diamond perks, diamond players. But they start off slow. They try to help you out just a little bit. Make sure you equip them as always. It's going to do set your lineup and make sure you equip the new perks that you'd get. So this time we got a run, plus we get a draft silver player. We get to draft two silver players. So this time around with our silver player, we decided to go with the starter Max Free just because 
you never really know what the missions are. You might run into one where you have to strike someone out the starter. You might have to close out a game with a closer. So we're going to draft Max Freed. We already have a good hitting catcher. I'm not really crazy about Jose Iglesias. So we're just going to draft Max Freed in case we have to use him. So in this mission, this is a perfect example why we took that Andrew Miller in the draft, guys. Because in this one, we had to strike out Duke Snyder. And obviously, striking out Duke Snyder is not easy. This is not guaranteed to get one chance at it. You cannot redo any of these. You want to have a good option when you have to do some of these moments. Luckily, we were able to do it, and that's a huge one, actually, because it's it's difficult because he, all he has to do is foul off a pitch or hit something crappy in play. So this one was huge. We get two runs. We get a silver live series player, a gold live series player, and a gold perk. So if we wouldn't have got that done, we would have been shy two runs. So that is an absolute massive moment in this. The ones that give you two runs are just insane. So I, I already was I was chilling with my lineup here, so I just took another relief or another relief pitcher just in case we end up running into another moment where we need them. Joey Gallo, easy pick. Again, you guys draft perks to your liking. The way that you hit, again, if you're aggressive, do ones that boost. If you take pitches, maybe this one's good for you. One and one, two and two, zero zero counts. I like that one a lot. Just do all the offensive ones, like I said, the, the offensive perks and the offensive moments in this inning is everything. So we succeeded in another one. We got our Dross Donaldson, and now we get our first diamond perk. Again, same rules, whatever fits your likings the most. This is why this is dumb. So basically, you have to hit, you get a nine inning game in this one to hit three home runs. But if you give up a home run, you lose. This is the first batter of the game. We have Max Freed. We spot a pitch. I mean, we don't really spot it that well, but Charlie Blackman takes us deep and we lose immediately. So you can lose these one run moments. The ones you can't lose are the red showdown moments. You get three of them. So you can lose the ones for the one run deficits. So if you lose, you just won't get that run. But you cannot lose the showdowns because that will end the game. There's three of them. And obviously you have to be all three of them to win. So this was kind of a worthless round. We kind of just picked whatever we could. And then we get a gold round here. I had to go with Nelson Cruz. I'm telling you guys, offense, offense, offense. Tatis, like ideally, if this was a BR draft, I'd be taking Tatis because he's good at everything. But I'm telling you, those big power bats will win you games. And Nelson Cruz wins me a couple moments just by just absolutely raking for me. So heavy offense, guys. I'm telling you, defense doesn't even matter in half of these. Half of these, you don't even play the field. So offense, offense, offense. We got to our first diamond play around where it was all pitchers. Our only hitter was Jose Altuve. So we had to take Altuve here. We're just taking as much offense as we can. We're just, you're going to hear this a lot. Offense, 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 guys. Set your lineup and jump back into the next moment. So this is our showdown moment. We can not lose this one. So we end up winning this one. Thankfully, it came down to the last couple outs, but we got it done. Nelson Cruz hit us a massive home run. Offense is everything. I, I can't say it enough, guys. Draft all offense if you can. So this time we get a diamond player and a diamond perk. So towards the end of these, these showdown, guys, you get really good players. So we ended up losing a one-inning moment. So we didn't gain a run, and... It was a it was one of those first inning moments I was talking about earlier. We had to get on base or we had to tally four total bases in the first inning and we just lined out like four times so or three times. So, we didn't win that one and like I said, top load those offenses guys so that those first inning moments you do not lose in because they are just very annoying. This round was kind of tough. That was between Judge and Acuña. Uh, both very good cards. Acuna is actually higher rated, but Judge's power is undeniable, and that's why I went with him, just because, again, offense, offense, offense. So we actually ended up losing the final moment to get a run off the board, so we ended up losing. We did not hold the inning. They just decided to rake against us. Again, why this is horrible, but... This is the final showdown, guys. This is how it works. We're going to go into the batter's box facing Astros legend Roy Oswalt, and we have to take the lead before recording 15 outs, and this is the starting score. So we have to score six to tie, and you can't just tie. You have to score seven and win. You have to win. You cannot tie. It doesn't go to extra innings or anything. You have to score 16 runs before 15 outs. 
So obviously the more runs you have going into it, the easier it's gonna be. If you skip to it early on, it's gonna be way difficult. Again, I failed on this four times. There's a couple of different moments that this filters through. There's a Kenley Jansen and Roy Oswalt are the two that I kept on getting. Kenley was way harder than Roy Oswalt, let me tell you guys. Scoring like six or seven runs off Kenley Jansen, very difficult. So hopefully you guys land on Roy Oswalt. I also had someone in my stream tell me that they got Antonio Sensazella for the Rockies. I didn't know that was a thing. So if you get him, then good for you. I'm going to let you guys watch the end of this video. It's just me completing this and the rewards. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ridehog54. And you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya. Did we just win? Let's go! Finally! Oh my gosh. Wilson freaking Ramos. Let's go, boys. Yes, thank you. Oh, God bless America. It's over, boys. It's over. Oh my gosh.